everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome back to another episode of Cool Craft Season 2. Now, in the last episode, we built a pretty cool museum with a giant vault which hides away all your valuables and whatnot, but not going to talk about this and that in this episode, because if you want to see that, go watch the last episode, which... You know, it's the last episode. But today we are going to be building <coughs> something different, which was, I think, next to this thing on the idea as well. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so what we are going to be doing today in this episode is we are going to be building the park dome. Uh, there we go. Um. <laughs> right over here now i have connected the paths and put in the beacons for this dome obviously but this isn't going to be filled with anything too terribly useful it's mainly just going to be more of a relaxing dome almost more of a throwback to to the biodome that was built in season one if you remember that thing which nobody will because nobody who is watching this video watched season one if you haven't watched that maybe go back and watch that that was about a year ago i don't know but I'm gonna simply start by putting in some trees here, as every park, you know, probably should park or whatever has, you know, trees. That does not block the path, yes. Um, yes, and, uh, let's get trees. Alright everybody, trees are in, and now I'm going to start, like, spamming bone meal all, all over the ground here to give it a bit of, you know, like, texture. And then I'm gonna remove all the two tall grasses, that stuff is unnecessarily tall. And I'm actually getting a decent amount of it here. So yeah, uh, let's do this and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright everyone, so I've put in all the grass and I've also put in a little bit of a lake here. That I'm going to be putting some sugarcane here in along the edge of. You can, say, put this stuff up to some different heights. Get this thing up there and uh, I don't know if I can make anything for it. That one will grow there. I uh, really want to make this ex an extra block tall, so let's just come up here, place that. Right, so this here should be the lake. There's a, some sugarcane growing over there. I think I'm going to have another lake somewhere else around the dome just for um, aesthetics because I'm not too sure what else I'm going to be putting in this dome, although I do know I kind of want like a bench here. Actually, maybe I'll get some fish to put up here. That's going to be an interesting idea. Got an ocean down there. So yeah, I'll get some fish to put in this little pond. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, <laughs> it's been a little while and I don't know what I did last, but um, I think I had, I just put in this lake over here. So, you know, got this little lake, got a nice bench, put in another lake over here with some more sugarcane. Also have some crops growing by. It also, it just goes right up to the glass for whatever reason. I also had to put coarse dirt under the glass so the grass didn't spread down. And then further down, because I don't want that. There's also now a field of wheat over this way. And just, um, I may have landed on this one and can't be bothered to bone mill that one back up. And I also went out and grabbed a bunch of little fishies. Well, like five of them. <laughs> yep, five of them to be exact. And they're all going to go and live in this little pond and oh, that was a, okay um yeah this episode is very short and it's gonna be very short because i don't have much i'm gonna i'm doing today in this episode well that being said i have built a completely gigantic sphere in this episode so i'd still say that's a lot of progress anyhow um yeah it's gonna be a short episode mainly because i've actually procrastinated doing this episode until almost the last minute but uh, there's a couple other things. We're pretty much done with the actual part for now. So, we, why do I have a minecart in my inventory? Where did I get that? I might have accidentally plunked it out of my under chest. I think that's the only way that I got that minecart. That I accidentally plunked it out of another chest, but... Jeez, where did I get this part? Anyhow, let's come up here and update the map. To have the lush park dome here. Just generally being existing. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to go say there. Yeah, so there's the park dome there. Let's get back to the... Um, I think it's called the city plan... I, don't, I didn't put a sign up here? Okay, that's interesting. City planning office. Pretty sure that's what I call this place. <laughs> wow, that actually aligns perfectly with the edge of that map. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, yeah, um, let's update this with all the roads and... 
that. Cool. Yeah, now for the next thing that I wanted to do in this episode. Alright guys, so I just popped over here to Jared Cole's base and immediately out of the nether portal. <laughs> just see this giant, I think it's cow. Oh, you can see he's building. There he is. He doesn't know I'm here though. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, I just kind of popped over here because I don't know what's going on and I just thought of what I can do to make this episode a little bit longer. But, um... Wow, yeah, so he's literally just building a giant cow over that way. It's probably going to be his cow farm. <laughs> Since that's about where that's going to be. He's probably able to see me right now. It's fail. <laughs> Anyhow, um... Yeah, I don't know exactly too much why I'm over here besides seeing what he's up to because I was kind of bored. But, uh, yeah, why don't, I, why don't I show his base because he probably hasn't made an episode in a long time. So here's his mob farm, which is pretty much Mumbo's really old mob farm design. And here's the iron farm, which I built an episode, I think it was four. <laughs> I don't think it's operational right, right now because you'd have to AFK for at least a day. In order to get all the villagers reset, but hey, in the next version, there's gonna in 1.16, there's going to be more efficient iron farms because you don't have to give them workspace stations. But there is a ton of iron here if I didn't need that. But I have been using a ton of it recently, actually, for beacon bases over at my base. So I actually have to put in a lot more of those. Although, yeah, well, let's get on to that other thing that I was talking about. Alright, everybody, now for that other thing that I said I was going to do. So, I've been thinking of it, because 1.16 is drawing ever closer, and this place is going to be a hostile wasteland where I could probably not stand here without doing a little bit of whack-whack first. Um, but I thought I might need to secure my nether portal a little bit. So I've done a little bit of work here in the nether. Yes, a little bit of work. I have created or installed a 4x4 piston door down here that's now it looks like a, a kind of colorful hodgepodge but it's supposed to be like the gradient color that goes between uh, green and kind of a d reddish orange color which is you know what my typically what I use for my logo kinda has that color scheme going on so I tried to put that in a 4x4 door it doesn't look too good but eh, it's whatever it just it definitely tells you that this is not a dead end and so um Yes, and I'm also kind of impressed that I was able to kind of fit this in right here with the stairs while not interfering with the beacon grid system here. And as you can see, the door actually, the top part of the door where it retracts actually goes right up here. And a couple pieces of wool are exposed here for the actual mechanism for the door. But yeah, now um, you can see these pistons. It's just on a little bit of a um, uh, delay, whatever, clock. Um, but yeah, now I just quickly want to go and kind of cover up the redstone, because having exposed redstone like this, especially in the nether, is never really a good idea. So yeah. But, as I'm doing that, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, first of all say that, with 1.16 drawing ever near, I mean, it's literally coming out on Tuesday, so. <laughs> yeah, the next time you see me on the server, it will be in Minecraft 1.16.0, pretty sure. Definitely going to take an extra backup of the world before we upgrade to that. We didn't have any problems with 1.14, but a lot of people did. So, um, yeah. But besides that, this, that's pretty much going to be it from this episode. I'm starting to run out of time. And I want to go do other things. So, yeah, I'm going to essentially say thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the Discord link in the description. Also, check out the form to join Coolcraft if you are so in Climbed. This is also linked in the description. It's not that you may not or probably won't be picked. Um, but it's so nice to have you fill out the form. And I will see you all in the next episode of Coolcraft Season 2. Bye!